Hi guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a loop stitch and we will chain in groups of eight as many as we need to wrap around our head. So I needed to chain 88 for my head. Keep chaining and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so now that you've chained the desired number, we will straighten the chain and we will slip stitch into the first one. Now we have to chain three and we will double crochet into every stitch on the chain for one row. After you finish double crocheting all these for one row, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so when you finish the first row, you will slip stitch into the third chain of the first post. Okay, so on the next row we will go in the back of the chain post, wrap the yarn around our hook, pull it through, and slip stitch. Okay, chain three, and then we will double crochet three more on the back of the post. Okay, so that makes four and then we will double crochet four in the front of the post Double crochet four in the back of the post. Double crochet four in the front of the post. And our work will look like this. So we will do that for five rows. Once you finish the five rows, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so now that we've finished five rows, this is how our work looks like. The next step is to go now in the front of the chained post, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, chain three, And then we will go in the front of the post and double crochet three. And then we will go in the back of the post where we used to do the front of the post. 
and we will double crochet four. And then we will go back to the front of the post, double crochet four, and we will do that for five rows. And once we're finished with five rows of this, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so the next step is to go to the back of the column here, slip stitch, chain three, double crochet in the back of the post for three more, double crochet in the front of the post for four, Double crochet in the back of the posts for four. Double crochet in the front. Our four posts. And we'll keep doing that for five rows and then I'll show you what to do next. This is how the hat looks like so far. So for five rows, we double crochet four in the front of the post, four in the back, and then for five rows we double crochet four in the back of the post and four in the front. And we just alternate every five rows. That's basically how the pattern works. Keep repeating these same steps and I'll check back with you later. Okay guys, so when we get to this point, we'll go to the front of this post here and we will slip stitch, chain three, and then we will double crochet into the front of the posts for the entire row. Okay. Guys, so keep doing that, and once you're finished with the entire row, I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so now that we finished the first row, we have to start decreasing. So we will go to the front, we'll slip stitch, chain three, double crochet, the next three posts.
Okay, so now when we get to this one, we will skip it and then we will double crochet into the second post. Okay, like that. Because we're trying to decrease at the top of the hat. Okay, so it'll look like that. Then we will keep double crocheting into the front post for the next four stitches, which are these four. Okay. Then we will skip this first one again and we will double crochet into the next three posts in the front. Two, three. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing for this row. On the next row, we will repeat the same thing and the row after that and the row after that. So we're going to keep decreasing until all these stitches are gone. See these that were four, now they're three, and then there'll be two and one and then zero. And then when we get to that point, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so when we get to this point, we will slip stitch to this next one, then we'll go in the front, slip stitch, chain three, Double crochet two in the front of the posts. When we get to this point where we've been decreasing before, we will skip the first one and we will double crochet into the next one. Two three. So after we finish double crocheting in three posts in the front, this is how it will look like. So we just continue decreasing where we've been decreasing before. Now we can decrease again, so skip this one, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, skip, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and we'll keep doing that from now on and I'll check back with you later. Okay guys, so when you come to this point when you've decreased all the way through until you come to one on each of these it's time to turn the hat inside out and we will put our working stitch through every other stitch
okay and then we will take the two ends of yarn we will tighten them and we will secure them in a knot cut the yarn, lose the ends and your hat should be ready to go this is how the top will look like and this is how the completed hat will look like I hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching please share and subscribe